shoot from Taylorsville, North Carolina. Can he pull his concentration back? That is the question. You know, I've seen him cross over before. And, you know, most people be embarrassed by doing that. And not our Guppy Group. He loves it. Brooklyn strike? That's all right. We'll just take a look. Watch the way the ball is just down early. Not much follow through. Pretty and, nice result. And that's the way our second round match begins. And now Jeros on lane 22. Yeah, he split the last time a practice shot on lane 22. He threw the ball, came in high. Leaves the two pin. Makes sure, he makes sure that he doesn't come in high this time. The ball is light in the pocket. Fortunate just to leave the two. Shouldn't have any problem converting the two pin. Jeros got off to a bad start last week in Toledo. And he told me that it was a matter of deciding should he go home or should he work on his game. So he stayed two days after the national championship in Toledo and discovered that he had been trying to throw the ball just a little too hard, which is not his game. He slowed down his pace, drove over to Erie, and here he is. Our third seed. Really has become one of the one of the very, very good players on our tour in the last four or five years. And it shot fair in the first frame. He strikes in the second. Shots like that that have made him a great player. He has the ability to have the ball set up in the pocket. We'll see the ball as it comes in high flush in the pocket, but it almost looked like it was going high for a moment. Took care of all the pins as we see Guppy Troop now up on lane 22. That's got to hurry. Perhaps yeah. overcompensating, he had come high a couple of times in a row. There's no doubt in my mind. As he's laughing about that, I, I don't know. I never, I've left that a few times and I've never laughed. <laughs> you can see his last PBA title came back in 1985. He's won eight titles in his career. And leaves the open frame. And there's a very tough way for Guppy Troop right now to start. He's now, not only did he open in the second frame, but he lost a lot of count. He's down 16 pins after two frames. And really, he's thrown two shots this game, and neither one have been very good. That's a better looking shot. And he got it. In the third. A strike for Troop. Take a look at Guppy Troop. He finally got it back in that groove again, and very prophetic what you said earlier, Mike, about winning the first match and now struggling in the second. That can't keep going forever, I would think. And Steve Juros in the third. There's the 10 pin. Almost leaves the 7 10 on a very good shot on lane 22. Take a look at the ball coming right at you, now hooking into the pocket. Five pin gets the seven, but the six does not get the ten. One of Steve's other problems, he told me this year, was when he'd get into match play, he says he started getting too worried about his opponent. And really, in bowling, you can't do that. You have to worry about your own game. You just have to take care of yourself. And sometimes it's, it's difficult to do. A lot of players don't even watch their opposition because they don't want to see them get a good break. For Steve Jarris, he needs to just take care of himself. He's got the talent to win out here. And in the fourth, he got the strike. So Steve Jaros is up by 16 pins, but Guppy Troop will try to come back when we come back to Erie. In the fourth frame. Needs to put some pressure back on him. There you go, Guppy. That's what you want to see. And so after opening in the second, Guppy now trailing only by six pins with two straight strikes. Guppy knew this was an important shot. Had to have it. Knocks the six pin out, and there's the reaction. He says, I'm still here, Steve. I'm still here. Actually bowling pretty good in 98. Made a couple top 24s, cashed in another one. Only missed one week. For three in a row. He got it. Boy, right when 
and it looked like Gumby Troop was given up for dead. He comes right back again with three strikes in a row. And leads by four pins. Well, take a look. Now, watch the six pin. It just barely, barely nudges out the ten. And so Cheris now in the fifth. Trailing by four with a strike can take his own lead back. And there's his wife, the former June Dobolaskis. Now June Jarris. They were married back in September, three days before the Japan Cup, which made for 